first runner-up is Miss South Oropooch, Britney Smith, our Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2018 is Miss Border Spain West, Isabel Bisnath. And guess what? She is here with us. That's right. Attorney at law Isabel Bisnath has been crowned Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2018. She will be representing us at the Miss World competition to be held in China on December 8th. Good morning. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. How do you feel? I'm incredibly excited. I just want to thank everyone for all the help and the support that I've gotten. I'm a little bit nervous. You know, this will be representing Trinidad on the international stage, and I just want to do my best. I want to bring home that crown for Trinidad and Tobago. What was the experience like for you, this entire Miss World TNT experience? It was definitely a journey. There was a lot of training, a lot of focus groups, and it was really an opportunity for personal growth for me, and also an opportunity to make friends. Uh, the girls and I are very close. We've really formed some deep friendships. I'm looking forward to seeing more of them in the coming weeks as well. Entering a beauty pageant of this caliber, was that something that you always imagined for yourself? No, not at all. I grew up in more of a traditional setting. I really thought that I would go to school, go to university, start working, and that would be it. So this opportunity has really opened my eyes to other potential avenues for growth, both personally and professionally. I've always been passionate about international relations and developments, and I'm hoping to use this platform to springboard into those areas professionally as well. So I feel like the world is my oyster, and moving forward, I just want to take advantage of everything that comes my way. At what point did you decide that this is the route you would like to choose? When I saw the casting call, it really got me thinking that this could be a potential new avenue for me in terms of international exposure. And I recognize that the franchise holders were new and that this could be a, a new platform, a new experience that was incredibly well run. I was totally correct. The franchise holders, Brian Gopal and Riaz Mohammed, have done an amazing job with us. It was incredibly well run and I really feel like it's a fantastic opportunity for international exposure and growth. What are your thoughts on the caliber of women, just like yourself, who would have entered this competition? The ladies that I worked with and that I trained with for the last two months have been incredible. They're all accomplished in their own fields. Jessica James is a national athlete. Tashana Mitchell and Denisha Lewis are professional pan players. Maya Cozy is an award-winning filmmaker. And I learned so much from those girls because growing up, I was very academic and so I didn't develop those aspects of myself. And I feel like I've learned so much from them going forward. And I want to continue building on those relationships. What do you think were your strengths in this competition that really gave you the edge? I've always been a very hardworking and determined person. And whenever I go into a new field and I'm not good at something, I make a concerted effort to become acquainted with the new environment and how I can improve. So for me, because our, my background is not into pageantry at all, I was not very good at modeling or walking, so I had to take extra walking lessons in order to perfect that model catwalk glamorous look. And I think I did a really good job. I got a lot of positive feedback that my confidence had improved and my presentation on stage had improved. I think I still have some work to do in that respect because it's a completely new field for me, but I'm really looking forward to doing so. Uh, what I was particularly um, impressed about is your ability to speak. Is it three other languages fluently? Yes. I, well, I worked in Italy for a few months, so that is how I became proficient in Italian. And I studied French and Spanish in school. I went on to do an internship in Brussels, where I worked in French for a bit as well. So I really tried to get some practical experiences in the languages that I speak, because it's really not enough to simply study a language. You need to immerse yourself in other ways and I've taken I made a concerted effort to do that and I think that I've certainly reaped the rewards from it. So. What do you hope to gain from this experience and what do you plan to bring to the table? I understand that you're passionate about charity mm -hmm. work, yes? Yes. 
Well, first of all, I think that I want to represent Trinidad to the best of my ability. I consider it now an honor and a duty and a responsibility on my, on my part to do so. I hope to gain increased level of exposure for the charity that I work with, for the love of reading, TT, and to continue my work in literacy across Trinidad and Tobago and broaden it across education as well. Internationally, I'd like to put Trinidad back on the map and to gain more exposure internationally for Trinidad. Are you looking forward to your trip to China? Yes, I'm so excited. Have you ever been before? I taught English in China for a summer. Really? Yes, <laughs> I did. Well, it really ties into my love of learning and literacy and education, so I really wanted to have a teaching experience. And I taught English in Shanghai for a summer camp for children. So it gave me a lot of practical exposure to teaching and to Chinese culture. And I'm really looking forward to going back and having Chinese, authentic Chinese food again. Wow, that's amazing. What sort of preparation would be involved uh, for this competition? I know it's a lot of training in terms of the gym and that sort of thing as mm -hmm. well. Have you been keeping up? Yes, well, I took a little, <laughs> a little cheat meal yesterday, a bit of a break, but I'm getting back into it now. And I'll be training at the gym. I'll be working with my stage coaches. I'll be working with my um, other professional coaches, my training coaches, because I really want to be the best that I can be to represent Trinidad and Tobago. Wonderful. And what, what do you have to say to those looking on, those young ones looking on, wondering if this is really the way to go? Mm -hmm. Because in the past, we've heard about people saying beauty pageants are just uh, so superficial. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that comment? I would disagree with it. I think the, the modern idea of the beauty pageant has really evolved. In the, in the last few years, beauty pageants were more of a way of springboarding into modeling and acting and that sort of thing. But now with social media, you don't need to have the beauty pageant platform in order to do what you love and pursue your dreams. And as a result, I think the role of a beauty queen has really evolved to encompass women like me, who are just relatively ordinary, relatively simple. We just went to university and did our best and worked hard. And we want to represent our country and show the diversity of people and the diversity of representatives that our country has to offer. Why, why Isabel Bisnath, if you were to be on that stage as perhaps the final 10 on that stage and they were to ask you why, why should we give you this opportunity? Why? I'm incredibly passionate about Trinidad and Tobago and I think my patriotism really shows through. I also think that as a non-traditional beauty queen, I can bring a lot of different qualities to the, the role that being Miss World would entail. And I think that I can really inspire women that it is true, you can be anything you want to be. You can be a lawyer, you can be an activist, you can be an advocate, you can be a beauty queen. And our modern conception of womanhood can encompass all of that and more. Now, I understand you're an attorney at law by profession. How do you plan to juggle those responsibilities with your preparation for this huge event in December? I'll be taking some time off work. I'll be discussing that with my boss moving forward. So nothing is set in stone yet, and it's not something that I'm fully at liberty to discuss at the moment in time, but, I, but my, my office is incredibly supportive, and I really like, have to thank them so much. I went into work yesterday, and there were flowers, and there was cake, <laughs> and everyone was so supportive. It was a lovely environment to be in. Now, you've traveled extensively, mm -hmm. I would say. You, you said you've taught in China, you've mm -hmm. been to Italy for some time, mm -hmm. you studied at Oxford University. Yes. What do you think, how do you think those travels and those experiences have impacted you and really helped you to propel you forward in a competition like this to really excel? I think it's made me quite an open-minded and tolerant person. I'm very aware of the diversity of cultures and the diversity of opinions that people might have. And when I meet a new person, especially someone from a different culture, I'm always really interested in getting to know how they grew up and what they think and what their, what their values and views are and how those are different from my own. And I think that that would be a huge asset moving forward and having to interact with all the delegates from over 100 different countries at Miss World. And I also think it's given me great skills in communication. Yes. It really ties into that whole idea of networking and learning about people. And I have a real love of learning. I'm really passionate about traveling and education and awareness. And I hope to bring that to the table moving forward. Wonderful. What are your closing comments? Anyone you'd like to thank? 
oh, I mean, who can I not thank? So many people have helped me on this journey. I have to thank Brian Gopal and Riaz Mohammed, the Miss World Committee for the amazing job that they've done, and my fellow delegates. All of them have been so helpful, so instrumental in my personal growth, and I'm really looking forward to what's ahead. Congratulations to you. All the best. We have no doubt that you will bring home that crown. Thank you so much. We've been chatting with the lady herself, attorney at law, Isabel Bisnath, Miss Trinidad and Tobago World 2018. She's off to China on December 8th, and we wish her all the best. News is up next. Stay tuned.